following this dame around. Waiting, watching, no dice. If there were some kind of psycho stalking her dressed as a grim reaper, I would have seen him by now. But not in this fog, I'd imagine. Hey, maybe he's at some kind of Halloween convention or something. Creep. This case has gone cold. Hey! You son of a bitch! Where did you go? I know you're out there! Wait, what the hell is this? Lucy! I quickly approached the front of the house. The front door was open. Cautiously, I entered. It was dark in there. There were signs of a struggle. I looked around. It was in the kitchen that I found her. Lucy was slumped down against the fridge. There was a large stab wound in her chest. Blood, black and glistening in the light, streaked down the wall above. The word soon was smeared in blood there. She'd been stabbed, impaled maybe by the looks of all this mess. Damn, I thought, where the hell did this sicko go? Are you okay? <coughs> Lucy, are you all right? It wasn't out back. Lucy, I'm not gonna <coughs> let you die on me, Lucy. Jack. What? I thought you were supposed to protect me. <coughs> I checked her pulse. Nothing. I had failed again. I could not let her death go unavenged. With my revolver drawn and ready, I headed out back. Hey, I said drop it! Gotcha, you son of a bitch. What the fuck? 
for you. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're a goddamn psychopath. And I've had enough of murderers and psychopaths. Why don't you take off that hood so I can get one good last look at the ugly mug of the man who kills me? Very well, Mr. Stone. Lucy? No, oh, but you're dead. I felt the life leave your body. I have known by now.